Hey, welcome to Up and Smoke All About Barbecue. I'm Becky, and right now I am getting ready to mix up one of my favorite barbecue sides. This is my cold dilly pasta salad. The hardest part of this dish is boiling the pasta. So if you can boil water, you can make this salad, which means if you really wanted to, even my favorite taster could make this pasta salad. No. <laughs> Somehow I knew that was how he was gonna feel about it. He's gonna leave this to me. So today I'm starting with my, po my pasta that I already cooked. This is a gluten-free brown rice pasta and I'm using the shells. You can use any kind of macaroni pasta. You wanna use the elbow macaroni, the spirals, whichever one, they all work great. Just once you boil them, make sure they cool down enough because you really don't want them hot when you start mixing in your other ingredients. Because one of the things I'm gonna start with is some cheese. This is eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese that I just diced up. You can see made them into nice little cubes. And put those in and then I've also got, you can use either one big dill pickle or if you have the dill spears you can use a couple of the spears and just dice those up as well. And I'm going to put those right in. That's why this is my dilly pasta salad. And I also have just a tablespoon of the dill pickle juice. I'm gonna add into this for a little extra dill flavor. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start salting this up. And I know no matter how much I salt this, nothing is ever gonna be salty enough for my favorite taster. Nope. <laughs> He's gonna add more. If you've ever seen us in a restaurant, you know as soon as he gets his food, he grabs the salt. So then I'm gonna add some pepper too. And here is a little bit of just some dried dill weed. I'm gonna very carefully just kind of sprinkle a little of this on here. Ooh, getting a lot now, but that'll be good. Cause one thing you do, once you get started with this, then you take a little taste to make sure you have it where you want. Now I'm just gonna put in a couple of big spoonfuls of mayonnaise. And then I have some whole grain mustard that I'm just gonna start squirting a couple of good squirts in here. And this whole grain is a little bit more of an intense mustard flavor because they just leave the mustard seeds a little bit more chunky in this type. So, and then you just kind of start stirring this all in and make sure you've got enough of what amounts to your dressing for this salad, which is that mixture of the whoopsie and throw it all over your counter if you want to. That is okay, I will get that here in a second. I'll scoop that up with my knife here. There we go, move that a little bit. Rescue that shell that wanted to jump out and be free. So get your mayonnaise and your mustard all mixed in. Now for me, I also go by the color. Start out by how it looks. Looks to me like I need a little more mustard because I want a little more of a yellow tinge to what amounts to the dressing, like I said. And then I'll scoop out just a tiny bit. Get this all stirred around. Scoop out a tiny bit, give it a taste. And the great thing about this salad is if you make it a day ahead of time, the longer it can sit in the fridge, the more that these flavors intensify and really come together and blend nicely. If all you have is an hour to put it in the fridge, that works too. And see, it's also sounding nice. It sounds like it's nice and moist because <laughs> you want that moist sound, but it also looks to me already because I make this enough, I don't have enough pepper because I do love my ground pepper, ground black pepper. That's one of God's great gifts. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and add a little salt. Like I said, I know it's not gonna be salty enough for my favorite taster. So that's the thing. If you ever come to my house, most of our food will probably be a little too salty for you, but it'll be spot on for Tim, and even me, I've started really getting into more salt. I don't know if it's just because I've been around him so long now. <laughs> it's 
So this is looking good. Like I said, I'm gonna take a little bite out on this plate over here, just so I can, just a small, there we go. A couple of the shells, just give it a quick little taste, make sure. Mm. Yep, it has that nice dilly flavor and adding a little bit of that pickle juice really is a great addition to this salad. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. And like I said, it's really great if you can do it a day ahead of time, put it in the fridge overnight, let all those flavors get all nice and happy together and, and come together. But I think we're gonna put it in for at least an hour right now because I think my favorite taster really won't, doesn't wanna wait overnight. Nope. Nope. So we will taste in a little while. We're ready to taste. Took it out of the fridge. My favorite taster wants to come in. He's actually been yeah. begging me for the last hour. Is it ready? Can we taste it yet? Is it I'm ready? gonna try some. Is it ready? Is it well, ready? it was ready when we finished earlier, but oh, like I said, I like to let those flavors sit That's it? a little That's bit. That's all? It's just a tasting, dear. This isn't oh. the meal. <laughs> <laughs> well. So take a little taste. Have yes. food, food with my salt. Always with the salt. Yes. If you take it out of the fridge and mm. it looks a little dry after sitting or sounds a little dry when you start up, you can always add a little more mayonnaise, a little more mustard if it needs it. Mm. I love it with the cheese. This is fantastic, as always. Mm. Mm. Yeah, pasta salad needs cheese mm -hmm. for me anyway. Mm -hmm. And the dill. Mm. Perfect. Perfection, baby. So I like it with the dill and dill pickle and a little bit of the dill pickle juice. If you want, you can totally just use sweet pickles instead. Either just use some sweet pickle relish or use like three, maybe four of the sweet pickles. They're a little bit smaller, so you might need an extra one and make it your own. You can use it with regular yellow mustard instead of the whole grain. I like the whole grain because it gives a little bit more intense flavor to it. And it's a crowd pleaser to go with your next barbecue. This For way, sure. like I said, it's super simple. If you can boil water, you can make this salad. So thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe and we will see you next time.